abandoned boats bringing blight to central Florida waters. It is a longstanding problem across the state, and Hurricane Matthew only made it worse. As News 6 reporter James Barvero tells us, Brevard County is still trying to clean up with the next hurricane season right around the corner. From Mims to Mico, Brevard County says two dozen abandoned boats still in the Indian River Lagoon following Hurricane Matthew will stay there at least for another year. Six weeks ago, with $85,000 in state grant money, the county began removing about 50 abandoned boats. Crews reached the halfway mark but ran out of money. Each removal cost between $2,500 and $6,000, and this year, the state did not allocate enough to finish the job. Hurricane Matthew left us with additional derelict vessels who were wrecked up on shore. Alan Chapman and Coco Village will tell you abandoned boats are a long-standing problem. We had vessels that were here for years, literally years. And with every new storm, more abandoned boats pop up, and previously abandoned ones can pose new dangers. If they sink, then of course you have issues of pollution. If they uh, start to drag in a storm, they can crash into somebody's dock or into somebody's boat. Sailor Wally Moran has his boat anchored next to one of those eyesores. He's frustrated knowing blight like this is staying put for at least another year. We want the problem sorted out. We have asked the state, put the funding in there, make it possible for communities to get rid of these junk boats. The funding has not been made available in many cases. The county says it's removed over 150 abandoned boats in the past decade. Leaders are hoping that next year they will be allocated enough money to remove all abandoned vessels. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.